Hey, Virgo. So this is for Virgos who are dealing with the Scorpio for the month of September. We got the Three of Pentacles, the High Priestess in reverse, so the Eight Ten of Wands up right there, Virgos. All right. So the you and your Scorpio here, Virgos, coming with the Page of Swords to the Eight of Swords energy. This person is definitely spying on you, trying to figure you out at the moment here, Virgos. Definitely stressed out in their mind. All right. So they have a big decision that they have to make, but the decision that they're making is causing a lot of issues for themselves with the Four of Pentacles here. In reverse, so they're it's the decision that they're making is pretty much delaying them from being able to come towards you guys at the moment. All right, four of swords, nine of swords, and the king of wands. They want to come towards you. They want to come out of hermit mode here, Virgos. But the thing is, they're definitely stressed out over you at the same time, especially during the month of September, where it's going to be September 9th to the September 15th. This person is going to be in their head really badly, maybe even having nightmares. Or the fact that they're just not going to be able to sleep at all, and every time they, and every single time they're they're sleeping, the their dream state and their their stress ends up waking them up and putting them into the four of swords energy upright. So they they're they're not able to go back to sleep pretty much after the fact that they wake up from dreaming about you here. All right, sweeties. So with the high priestess to the lovers card, there this person ended up making a bad decision, but maybe somebody here kind of knew about it. But they weren't using their intuition to the best of their ability, all right? So now they're full of burden at the moment. They're not getting what it is that they want. They had, they're they having a hard time being able to change themselves to be a better person. Definitely a fool for the things that they've done to you in the past here. And with the Emperor card in reverse there, they don't feel good with themselves at all. At all. They're, they're realizing that they were thinking with their ego. And because they were thinking with their ego, it left them in the, ten of, it left them in the Three of Swords, which is absolute heartbreak. They're in a lot of darkness at the moment, and they're really not doing all that great with the devil card. So they're like obsessing over you, lusting over you, not knowing what to do, and their hidden feelings are not most likely showing you how they're actually feeling about you right now. So because they're using their ego, they if they were to come towards you and show you how they're actually feeling, then they feel very much so weak, and that's not what they want to show you with the devil card there, right? So they're they're hoping that they're going to be able to come towards you and, and heal with you and, and, you know, but they're just, they're worried about this tower card here, Virgos. They're, ta they're worried that you're not going to want them back, but they are doing what they need to do to grow on a spiritual level, all right? So they are getting, <laughs> so this person here is, is trying to get the enlightenment that they need from the divine here, all right? But nothing is bounds at the moment with the justice card to the queen of wands energy in reverse there. This person ended up going to being with somebody who might be a karmic for them. However, they are not doing all that great right now, Virgos. This person is putting them through a whole lot of shit, and they're not and they're not trying to show face to anybody about what it is that they're going through. This person here could have also ratted, snitched, or did something behind this person's back just because they're such a just because they're such a very evil and uh, jealous person who carries a lot of envy in their heart. There, right? So, because of the fact that they're having nightmares on you, stressed about you, it's making it hard for them to sleep at nighttime. It's making them very much so restless, Virgo. So, they're they're very much so confused right now, not knowing what to do. With the five of cups there, they're definitely sad on you, Virgos. They're trying to get out of their feelings. With the seven of wands, they're having a little bit of anxiety. Anxiety, sadness, depressions, confused, paranoid, not knowing what to do there, Virgos, as well, all right? So... With the Queen of Swords in reverse, somebody here is definitely mourning over it and is not able to, hmm. And it's making it very much so hard for them to come in and, and want to work on the relationship there, Virgos, because they feel definitely to feel it defeated by you. But with the Two of Cups energy there, <sighs> do expect this person to be reaching out to you, sweeties. But the thing is, you guys are focusing now on your own self. You're focusing now on your own pentacles, focusing on your work, your money, your the bag. And you're not going to be dealing with people who are going to be very much so deceptive towards you. So if your Scorpio was deceiving you, you guys came to the realization about it and said, "No, I don't have time for it. I'm going to keep on. I'm going to keep on moving." Somebody here may have also Virgos or your Scorpio. They may have even tried to steal some money from you as well, and you guys weren't sure about it either. Maybe some of you guys may have been married to this person. However, you guys are going to come to the realization that this person was only about themselves the whole entire time here, Virgos. All right? Make sure you guys do cleanse yourself from this person's energy because whoever, because the, the Scorpio that you guys were with, they're now feeling nostalgic on you and they're missing you 
very, very badly, Virgos. Ace of Swords energy, all right? So they want to communicate with you here. They're going to be coming in for communication with the Ace of Swords energy. They're coming in thinking that they have the clarity that they need. So they're going to do whatever it is that they have to do with the Magician card to get you back. Nine of Pentacles there. But you guys are just going to be focusing on yourselves here, Virgos. You guys are kind of like in fighter mode at the moment. Uh, focusing on yourself, taking care of yourself, manifesting the things that you guys want. Ace of Wands, the Wheel card. To the King of Pentacles there, okay? <sighs> Sorry, Virgos. So this person wants new beginnings here with you, right? They want to make the wheel go to continue to turn. The cycle's not over between the two of you guys. But the problem is here, you guys are in fighter mode now. So you guys are looking up at the Nine of Wands. Like, you guys are protecting yourselves, not allowing this person to get back into your energy the way that they used to be able to be in your energy here. But do expect communication from them. They're going to explain to you how they have feelings for you, that they can't get over you. They just want to see you. This person sees what, you, what you've what you been up to, okay? So with the Six of Wands, the Wheel to the Nine... This person seeing that you're glowing up, you're you're living your best life, you're looking good, smelling good, Virgos, you're doing your thing. They see that you're becoming very much so successful and they want to be a part of it. But you guys are sitting in the in the hermit position like, mm, you know what, I'm actually an empress now. I went from the nine of pentacles to the empress. So you're pre-empress before and now you're the empress. So you guys have gained the knowledge, the wisdom, you've taken care of yourself, you gave yourself self-love. And because of that, they want to reach out to you, Page of Pentacles, all right? And you're, they're going to tell you that they, they want to have, that they have feelings for you, that they want to be with you because they've been waiting here for the right time to come back for you, Virgos, because this person moves very, very slowly, but they want to come back for their happiness, which would be with you. But you guys are also, this person's also not sure how to express their feelings with you, okay? So this is a very cold and detached person. They don't express their feelings very much, but when they open themselves up, then they'll be able to express themselves. But at the forte, they don't express themselves on an emotional level. They're very sarcastic, this type of person, okay? But eventually, they'll be able to open themselves up with the Knight of Cups energy there and then try and give to you here. <clears throat> so then your Scorpio wants to come back and maybe even invest in you with the Seven of Pentacles there and calling judgment virgos but they're definitely struggling at the moment because maybe this person lives at a distance from you but do expect them to reach out to you virgos maybe even apologize to you for what they've done to you and always fighting with you <clears throat> excuse me uh they are going to be get the, getting the strength that they need to be sending you a message here sweeties because they do want to bring they do they do want to be with you here that you guys have a very for this energy here if you guys are able to make it work out you guys can have a very loving and passionate and a lot of compassion in this relationship here sweeties all right so you guys just need to take action and make sure that that's what your good intentions are because after that the ten of swords comes in the five of pentacles and the four of cups energy so if you guys are going to be giving this person a chance and they're going to be communicating to you telling you that they want to be in a relationship with you that they want to live with you they want everything in the world with you there could be a chance that this person may end up going back and be doing the same thing that they did before, which is betraying you, making you feel like you're not worthy enough, and then eventually you're going to end up hating this person because you gave this person another opportunity to do good by you, but instead they ended up hurting you even more, Virgo. So please be careful on who it is that you're allowing to give second chances to because if you're going to be giving this person here a second chance to either live with you, to be in your energy like this or give them a stable home to be within and then they end up abandoning you, betraying you, hurting you, there is, an, there is a chance that this person could actually do that to you guys, Virgo. So make sure that when this person comes in to take action with the Knight of Swords energy, you're listening very carefully. You're paying attention to the words that this person is saying and you're also paying attention to the words that they're not saying either. Because there might be something that you might end up being, being able to miss. So what your job is to do in this situation is, if you're going to be giving somebody an opportunity to come back again after they did bad on you, you have to understand that there is a possibility that they may end up doing it again to you, Virgos. So if you're willing to go through the betrayal and the abandonment and the ghosting another time around, then and saying to yourselves, you know what, I'm going to forgive you. And I'm going to give you my heart, knowing that you're going to end up breaking it again. There could be a chance that this person is actually, in fact, going to do that to you guys for the month of September. Please take care of yourselves. Please know your worth. And please know that if they already showed you who they are the first time, then they're most likely still the same person. Thanks, cuties. Bye.